Alex ran to his bedroom door, but it then, but then it randomly started to, but it, but then it randomly shut. He turned around to see the bronze man with his hand reaching out towards the door. Did, did, did you just close my door? Alex stuttered in fright at the man. Yes, the man said while his voice echoed and still staring directly into Alex's eyes. Then the now huge penny shrunk back to its normal size. What, what do you want from me? Alex asked the man while shaking in fear. Why do you have so many coins? Alex asked the bronze man. Wait, 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 said Alex, interrupting the bronze man. Have you been the one making all the unlucky things happen to me? Stop talking and answer my question, shouted the bronze man while tapping his bronze cane onto the ground. His voice made the house shake a little. Okay, okay, sorry, said Alex while stepping a little further, a little further back from the bronze man. Why do you have so many coins, Alex? The bronze man asked while his voice echoed a little. Why do I have so many coins? Alex repeated. Well, I like being lucky. Really? The man replied. Yeah, I like being lucky, so I do different things to try to get good luck, like catching ladybugs. Alex walked to his table and picked up a jar of ladybugs. See, he saw while showing, he said, while showing the jar to the man, putting the jar back to the table before putting the jar back to this table. I also try to avoid having bad luck, Alex continued. I'm listening, said the bronze man. He was interested in Alex's explanation for being lucky. To avoid bad luck, I do things like keeping a distance from black cats and not walking under ladders, said Alex. But I haven't been so lucky ever since I found that penny you just came out of. The man stare, started to stare hard at Alex. Not trying to be offensive, Alex quickly said. That penny looked pretty cool. The man then nodded. Why, thank you, he said. I was trying to put a good pose on it. Alex smiled. He started to get a little less scared of the man. Anyway, I'm getting off track, said the off man, said the bronze man. Like I was saying, I think you're being a little greedy for good luck. Really? Alex replied. Yes. The bronze man replied. And being greedy is a bad thing. That's why I tried to teach you a lesson. By cursing you with bad luck. Wait, you cursed me with bad luck? Alex said while getting worried. Not forever, though. The man quickly said. Let me continue. I cursed you with bad luck to teach you a lesson about being greedy. I did all those things. Untying your shoelaces, knocking over the salt shaker, putting away, pulling away your chair, and breaking your piggy. Oh, sorry. Sorry about Luxter. It's all right, Alex replied. I can buy a new one. Anyway, I did all this to teach you about greed, the man continued. Don't be so greedy or you'll wind up with nothing. You were greedy for good luck, so I decided to take away your good luck and give you bad luck. Oh, I see, Alex replied. I I'm sorry. I guess I was be being greedy for bad luck. How about this, said the bronze man. I'll take away the bad luck if you promise not to be greedy ever again. Deal, said Alex eagerly. All right, then. I'll release the curse said the bronze man while smiling. Over the days, he doesn't go mad. Release the curse from this young lad. The bronze man pointed his cane at Alex. Suddenly, little sparkles came over Alex. He smiled as they went away. And for breaking your piggy bank, here's a new one, said the bronze man. He pointed his cane at Alex's table. When Alex looked at the table, he saw sparkles on top of it. Then a piggy frame, the piggy bank formed on the top of his table. It looked just like Luxter, except it was bronze color. 
Wow, Alex said while walking to his table and picked up his piggy bank. He admired it for a while and then put it back down. Thank you, Alex said. The bronze man nodded and tapped his cane on the ground. After that, the penny on the floor grew huge again. The man stepped onto the huge penny and said, Goodbye, Alex. Then went back inside the penny. After he was gone, the penny shrunk back to its normal size again. Alex was very happy that the bad luck was over, and he was never greedy again. Wow! That was awesome! Now that's what I call an ultimate scary story ever told. You took those words right out of my mouth, SBO. Nice work, yeah! Nice job, yeah, I like it. That was, that was great, I agree. Nice work, Katrina. <laughs> you did great, little sis. <laughs> Thanks, Big Sis and Sonic. Thanks, you guys. This is basically a life lesson. Never be greedy or you'll end up with bad luck. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>